BMX racing is the fastest growing sport in the country, and children as young as five years can enter races. A whole new vocabulary has grown up around the bikes. Whoopsies, berms, wheelies, pogos aren't accidents, but the names of obstacles on a typical BMX track. Oh, crikey. And my coach for the day is one of the country's top oh, wow. speed riders. <coughs> it's a bit different from my day, Pete. Because you used to have big wheels and those cow horn jobs. Yeah. <laughs> the bikes are a lot different. They're smaller wheels, smaller frame. They're completely set up and made different for this kind of racing. What started this big craze now? It's just getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? Doing it? Initially, it started in America and it's just been brought over and it's just grown and grown. What about all these lads here? What kind of stands are they? Oh, the lads are good. They, they, um, I think they're relatively new at the sport, but they are good kids, and it's just the same as all sports. You, you start and learn, and get better and better as you go along. I was overtaken by two five-year-olds, then. <laughs> so, if you're going to start out, um, pretend I'm sort of nine, I mean, how would you take someone around the course and show them what to do, would you? What I'd do mainly was just generally take you around the track, showing you bits and pieces of, of the track and how you uh, tackle that problem. All right, and you lead away and I should be close at your back wheel. The first thing Pete showed me was how a race starts. So what do you do to start? This is a start, it's just a, a normal start which you have at any race track. It consists of just a gate with a starting mechanism which lets the gate go. Yeah, and what do you do? The gate's lifted and the rider must rest his front wheel on the gate to start. All right. There's two ways of starting. The one is um, uh, what we call the one pedal start, which is just like so. Um, oh, with one foot on the ground? Yeah, with one foot on the ground, one foot on your pedals. And when the starter says go, you just lift your foot up and go. And the other way is what we call a two-pedal start, which where you have your pedals like so and you balance on your pedals. Oh. Like that, love it. Yep, <laughs> Let's that. go, let's start before I fall Practice off. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Even All though right. this was a training run, the other riders lined up with us to make it feel more like a real race. 40 metres down the track is the first obstacle. The skill is in getting over it without losing speed. The first jump on the track, this is what we call a speed jump. Yeah. Now, there are two ways you could tackle this. The first one, which is probably the best for the better rider, would be as you approach the jump, you do a wheelie from about three to four feet away. Yeah. And as you come over the jump, you rest your front wheel just on the other side of the jump. All right. Or, or you could do it oh, as you come up towards it. <laughs> yeah, you could come towards it and ride up it without wheeling, which is um, an easier way really for yourself. I decided to take the easy way and with Peter hard on my Keep wheels pedaling. I went flat out for it. Keep pedaling, stop pedaling, lift, push. That was straightforward but the next one looked much harder. Right. Now this is the tabletop isn't it? It's the bit I look forward to. This What's is... my approach? Because it all happened so fast we slowed the film down to show more clearly how to take the jump. Yeah. And what we mainly do is jump and try clear the top completely and land on the other side. You, uh, you go first this time and I'll copy you. Okay. I waited for the approach to clear and then pedalling at top speed, I raced to the tabletop. I made it, but only just. <laughs> well, I seem to do the bend at the same time then as well. Is that all right? That was good. You took a very good line around that bend, which was the high part, which brought you around very fast. It's yeah. a good way of taking it. Well, that's, I mean, we've done the jump, the, the, the speed jump, the bend. I mean, what should we do now? Just go around together and you... Sort of tell me what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, we could yeah, just go from the start and I thought I'll well, stay with you around and give you All a few right. tips. All right. The trick is to keep pedaling the whole time over the speed jump so into the first the berm, which is the BMX name for the banks. He's up on your pedals. Once out of the berm into the tabletop, I tried to leap, but didn't make it. Come right. on, push it all the way around there. It's important not to lose speed on the berms and to take the fastest line out of them. By this time, my little legs were tiring, but Pete pushed me onto yet another tabletop. Yeah, you've got a big, long straight now. You can push all the way down here. I could see I needed more practice to keep going at this speed for a full circuit. You get exhausted, don't you? Ah! 
I hadn't really done very well, but Pete suggested a race against the others just for fun. And Jamie crossed the line as I reached the last obstacle. <laughs> I suppose you two won, did you? <laughs> well, I came eighth. Even Jamie beat me. Well done, Jamie. Let me shake your hand. Well done for winning. Here he comes, Pete Middleton, right up the back, and oh, there you go.